What's up guys, it's Eric from VSI. Today we are excited to do another video of our installation of CarPlay Android Auto Retrofit to this 2014-2016 Lexus IS with factory navigation. This is our S-Connect kit and this same video can be used for the Lexus RC and also for the 2017 to 2020 Lexus IS with factory navigation. Yes, we've been using these new harnesses for quite some time, but the last video that we have on this, I believe it's still on the old harness. So this will help some of your new um, DIYers and just notice that there's one less connector. There's no more connector to the upper screen. And on top of that, um, it's much easier to install. There's some new functions on this compared to our old one that we also want to go through. And because we're a little bit short on time, we're going to be kind of rushing through this. Uh, we're going to be as detailed as we can and if you'd like to, to see more details on how to remove all the panels and get behind the radio and the screen and on the under panel you can also refer to our other videos that we have made in the past you can also even look at the lexus rc video that we made a few months ago that's pretty detailed as well well let's stop talking let's go inside the car and let's get this installed okay so use a panel removal tool just put, put it here and just pull it out same thing on the other side but it's basically the same Basically putting it down here, prying it up, release the clips, and pull out towards. As you can see, the, these um, guides are facing this way, so you're going to pull out this way. Okay, and that will expose these Phillips screws. So we got a few Phillips screws here. Okay, remove this one. And we'll also remove this one down here. Okay, okay and then let's go ahead and remove these panel pieces. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side. We're gonna remove the same bolts or the screws. Okay, same thing. Just place your hand in the inside, just pull it out. All right. And there's one 10 millimeter screw here. You can refer to the other video if you wanna know exactly where it is, but basically where the shift knob here is between the parking and the reverse right under there, you'll find another Phillips screw that you need to remove. All right, let's remove the shift knob, push down the shift boot. And turn this counterclockwise. All right, and let's remove this. Raise the armrest. I'm gonna pull this out. Just being held by clips. Disconnect these two connectors. Okay, we're gonna pull this whole thing up. Just all being held by clips. And place your left hand down here, press down the release tab, it's right under here. And change the gear. Okay, and then just note that if your car is parked at an incline, your car's gonna roll. So make sure you have your e-brake engaged. Okay, before you do that. All right, there's some few more connectors here. Let's disconnect this. We'll just leave this aside here for now. All right, just make sure you reconnect these. And if you end up disconnecting the other connectors too, make sure you don't forget to reconnect it. And now let's remove this panel here. Use a panel removal tool like so. Pry it down there, just pull this up. And just carefully just bring this out. And let's now remove the four, the six 10 millimeter bolts. We got one, two, okay. And we got four on the radio. Three, four, five, and six. All right, and then grab a thick towel. We're gonna lay it right here. Okay, and let's pull this out. Okay, and also pull this out as well. Okay. Push down and then release this connector. Okay, next, let's go ahead and remove the top screen. Push down right here. Push and release, push and release. And we're going to get a flathead screwdriver and push that out. And then let's remove, put this aside. All right, and then let's look over here. Let's remove this, let's push down here, remove, comes off easily. We're gonna drop this under tray here. Just place your hand here to pull it down. It's being held by clips. And let's disconnect the, the footwell light. Just press down and release. Or right, you could remove this bulb from the socket and then remove it like so. Okay, and let's put this aside. All right, now the fun stuff. Let's start connecting all these connectors. Let's start off with the top screen. 
in the top screen, we're only gonna be connecting these two connectors here, okay? Before we used to have another connector up here that connects to this. We eliminated that just to make the installation more simpler. All right, and we are going to route these two cables down to the glove box. Before we require to remove the glove box to do this, but now we don't because these cables are small and you can actually fish them down there. Just gonna just keep feeding the wire. Gotta do it one at a time. All right, now we're gonna go down there and look for the wire. We're gonna do it for the other cable too. And here it is. And make sure when you get these cable, don't pull on it too much because you don't wanna lose the cable on the top. All right, cool. Once we got that, let's grab our screen and let's put it back there. Okay, plug this, plug this back. Okay. And we're gonna push all these cables back. And when you're working in this top area here, if you wanna be extra careful, you can't mask, you can't place a towel here and mask off this area. Cause as you notice, there's these sharp brackets. You don't wanna touch any of the inside. It will leave a scratch. So be very, very careful with that, the bottom brackets. All right, so we got these out here. Okay, now let's continue on. Let's get behind the radio. All right, so we're gonna push on this here. And we're gonna connect our main harness. So the kit is actually gonna come with an auxiliary harness, which connects to here, okay? We're not gonna use that. Um, you actually don't need it anymore because we're gonna be routing all the audio through the car's Bluetooth. So for that reason, you don't need it. It does come with the kit just because the instructions manual has included that. And there's some people that still wanna use the auxiliary method for the audio, which we think is the old way, it doesn't work as well. It's less factory-like, but if you like to do that, you can go ahead and connect the auxiliary harness. But if you're like most of the people, 99% of the people, you're not going to need that. And if you don't need that, if you're not gonna be using the auxiliary source, then yeah. Don't install it. Just It just keeps things much, much more cleaner. You have less cables and connectors. All right, and if you look over here, we connected the GS CAN wires, the red, two red GS CAN wires to the orange and the white. So that's how it's gonna come pre-configured when you receive this kit. So just leave it alone. But if you wanna double check, you can double check to ensure those are still connected and it didn't accidentally get disconnected. And we have these three cables, microphone, we have the power, we have Connector here that's gonna connect to our interface box. We're gonna route this all the way down here towards the under of the glove box. And you know, it's, it's not too difficult to do that. So we're gonna just push the cable through. And let's do it one at a time. Try to not tangle up the wires while you're doing this. All right, and if you're new to doing these type of installation, be very careful not to damage these wires and cables while you're routing these. If it gets like caught onto something, don't force and just pull on it because you can rip the cable. So be very, very careful with that. All right, that's there. Okay, now let's go ahead and push this back. Let's grab our climate control. This actually is going to connect at first. Okay. All right. Okay, and let's make all the connections here. Okay, so if you look at the instructions manual, it'll tell you exactly what the dip switch should be. You also have a tag here that tells you what the dip switch should be. So for this one, 2014 and 2016 Lexus IS with factor navigation is gonna be one, six, and eight is gonna be on the on position. Grab this. Okay, connect it like so. And let's connect the two GVI cables. The one that's labeled out is going to be connected to the inside part. And the one that's labeled in, GVIF in, will be connected to the outside. 
And then on the other side here, let's connect our HDMI cable. All right, so we'll let it sit here for now. And let's grab our other box. This is the CarPlay Android Auto module. Let's connect the power cable. Let's connect our HDMI. And let's connect our microphone cable. It's gonna be right next to the USB. It's um, labeled mic in. We recently had a few customers connecting this to line out and they weren't able to get their microphone working. So just take extra note of that. And let's connect our antenna for our wireless CarPlay and Android Auto connection. And let's also connect our USB for our charging or wire CarPlay and Android Auto. All right, so all this is connected. Let me just do a quick test. And to do the quick test, you gotta connect your control back on. The other one is for your seat warmers. You don't need it. Just put your car back to park. Okay, first time it's going to load. Screen's gonna be black. Just wait for the system to initialize. And while it's initializing, let's take this time to start screwing on some bolts. Okay, so mouse is working, that's good. Press and hold the home button, it's working. All right, press and hold the home button again. Back to the factory screen. And from here, just wanna make sure our microphone is working. Please say a command. Phone menu. Go to phone. All right, looks like it's working. Please say a command. Terrific. All right. And lastly, let's connect our phone to the USB. Okay, just to let you guys know, if you guys connect your phones, through the USB before you set up the wireless, the phone won't work wirelessly until you restart your phone because your phone will take this profile as a wired connection. So once again, if you like this phone here, we didn't we didn't set it up wirelessly. We connected it, then and if we unplug it, we try to and if we try to connect wirelessly, it's not gonna work. You gotta restart your phone and then pair with the wireless system, or else the phone has already recorded that this is a wired profile okay so just keep that in mind all right so everything's working so let me slowly put all the panels back together around here and then i'll show you how to mount that afterwards okay the reason why i like to mount all these things back first before working on the working on below is it's just better to not have loose parts lying around there's just more chance of things getting damaged while you move things around. So it's always the best if you have it on the car so that there's less chance of you dropping it, leaving it in somewhere or you know, someone else messing with it and so forth. All right, now let's work on this side here. Okay, I'm gonna start off by organizing these wires here using zip ties. All right. I'm gonna use the foam tapes that's included with the kit. I'm only gonna wrap this one here. The other one, I'm going to use a double-sided tape. And when you're doing this, make sure you don't cover these vents here. I've seen some customers cover the vents and it'll overheat the system. Okay, once again, don't cover the vents. Vents are right here. Okay, we're gonna go over the vents, okay? going to organize that part a little bit later all right you do have to use some double-sided tape 
the kit does not come with the double-sided tape, so you will have to supply that on your own. There's a lot of room here behind the kick panel towards the outside passenger area. Okay, and we have a lot of wires going all over the place, so let's we're going to organize them. Trying to zip tie them to the factory cables and try to keep things out of the way. All right, so let me show you how I organize everything on the bottom all right so if you look down here as you can see the inner the module is located here we organize the cables wires going up this way okay and then the interface is here the this switch box all right and then we routed these cables behind this fan don't block these vents we use a lot of zip ties okay and then behind the vents and the excess wires here okay and then we mounted the antenna back here okay and all we're left is our usb extension cable right here and let me show you how to route this okay so let's grab this let's mount this back here okay okay so we're basically gonna put it in like right here like this okay so we'll grab this we're gonna tuck it on the left side of this right here okay. okay there it is this usb goes in right here you could you can't see it you could barely see it when you're not being used if you want to use it you could bring it out like here and if you like you could just leave it down here you could just plug it in and then push it back in if you wish okay all right so we are done with the installation let me just do a really quick demonstration all right so everything about the car is exactly the same um, the only difference now you have carplay and to first get it set up you want to first make sure that your phone is connected to the car's bluetooth if you don't connect it the audio is going to come out of your phone and not from the car's speaker so make sure it's connected since it's the customer's car, we're not going to connect it and push and hold the home button. Okay, right here. This is what, what you're going to do to toggle between CarPlay and the Lexus screen. So this CarPlay screen. Once you're here, this is a screen you see when nothing's connected. All right. So you could either do the wire connection, connect it, it will launch. If you do the wireless connection, go to settings. So if you press, press here, it actually tells you how to do it. So on your phone, go to settings, go to general. Go to CarPlay, okay? All right, it's gonna show up and we're gonna pair and connect. Don't pair in the Bluetooth or wireless settings on the phone, okay? When you're using CarPlay. But when you're using Android, when you have an Android phone, you do have to connect using the uh, Bluetooth menu. All right, so say that you already connected your phone wired until, unless you restart your phone it's not going to connect because your phone already saved this profile as a wired connection in order to um, reset that cache you have to restart your phone so if you did that restart your phone and do it and it'll connect and once it connects is how it looks so you're going to use the factory um, mouse controller you can push down the screen drag it like so you can listen to music using your favorite music player right now it's coming out of the phone but once it connects to the car's Bluetooth, it's gonna come out of the car speakers. You can use this as track up and down right here. Press, and then if you press menu, it'll summon Siri. And then if you wanna make any phone calls, you can make phone calls here, call your friends, and listen to text messages, and your factory backup camera continues to function. And also your track up and down, pause and play, and your steering wheel control continues to work too. The phone pick up, phone hang up, volume up and down, volume up and down, track up and down. And this voice activation is locked to your factory Lexus system, so it won't work. Summoning Siri or Google Assistant, it's going to just go to your um, Lexus system. If you wanna summon Siri, you can also push and hold the phone pickup button that will summon Siri as well. And once you have everything set up 
and say that um, you turn off your car and next time you turn on your car, as soon as your phone connects to the system, wired or wirelessly, the screen will switch over to the CarPlay screen automatically. Like so, all right? All right guys, well that does it. That concludes our installation and demonstration of this CarPlay Android Auto Retrofit, our S-Connect system on this 2014 and 2017 Lexus IS with factory navigation. You can also use the same instructions for the Lexus RC and also for the Lexus IS from 2017 to 2020. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or you can email us at info at bsonicusa.com. This product is ready in stock and it will ship out to you right away. You can purchase it directly at bsonicusa.com. And thanks for all your support and all your followers and to watching our videos and supporting our channel. And if you haven't yet, if you're new to this and you watched all this, you liked it, give us that like and also give us that subscribe and we'll make sure to come out with more better content or more awesome content in the future. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.